Talk to us about some of the challenges that you face during registration. So some departments don't have a gigantic issue with this. Um, my, the department that I'm in, the math department, is sort of medium-sized. Um, I know the art history department is much smaller. So at the CSU system schools, graduate classes that have fewer than, I believe it's 10 people in them, are automatically cut before the semester starts. And a lot of the really interesting classes are offered you know, at a, sporadically. A lot of those interesting classes are the ones that get cut because they have fewer than 10 people in them. It's kind of a bummer if there's a class that's in your specialty or a specialty that you want to perhaps examine more thoroughly, and then it gets cut. What, you, know, you don't have any way to sort of pursue that field of interest until it might be offered again. There's no guarantee that it's going to be offered again either. So, I mean, we, we are now essentially professional students. It is our job to know everything that's going to go on um, from a, a, an academic scheduling standpoint. You guys should all know when your enrollment appointment is and have the shopping cart full, ready to go to hit accept as soon as that date comes. Um, I believe that's passed for all of us, by the way. I think classes, uh, your classes are probably all set. So you really want to be on top of that kind of stuff for the following semesters that you will have. Um, yeah, and also sometimes classes are, so they will drop the classes before the semester has even begun based on enrollment alone. So it's a good thing to get you know, yourself into that class at a time if it's a class you want. And in some sense, push your friends, say, hey, come on, it's a fun class, trust me. It, it's going to be miserable, but we'll be miserable together, which is not a terrible thing, but at least you have friends in a really difficult class with you. Yeah, I think that Jimmy's advice is good, that if you're in a program where you know, there may not be enough people to take the class, it's up to you as the student to be proactive and encourage other people to take it. You know, we don't always know what our opportunities are. And sometimes you're aware of an opportunity someone else is not. So go out there and be proactive and make sure other people know about it. That way, if they sign up for it too, you get the class you really wanted. So like he said, sometimes schools are canceled and sometimes it's barely full. And my department is pretty small. So uh, last semester, I tried to take one course which is required for my graduation. And uh, I tried to register, but it was already full. And I went to the professor and I talked with the advisor and I uh, even went to the uh, international student service. I, IPS office and talked about it. I need to graduate. I have to go back, uh, but uh, it didn't happen. So I had to wait one more semester. That's why I'm here, by the way. And I, I'm very happy about this. <laughs> uh, so uh, one one thing you can do, uh, maybe uh, plan well in advance and check uh, frequently online or any information you can get and don't miss the deadline. Uh, that will cost you a little bit more. And that's it. I, I'll just add to what everyone has said and say if a class is full, uh, you always have the opportunity to email the professor and express your interest and also go to the class the first day of school. In some cases, you know, the enrollment's full and after the first couple sessions, people drop out. That's not for every class, but that's a possibility. So don't discount doing that. Right. So if you've let, gotten yourself known to the professor, really expressed a sincere interest, then you might have a better chance of getting into it. Not in all cases. And so again, you're going to have to be very proactive and visiting different classes.